Well, I thought we'd get a look at the old uh, Singer sewing machine that I've been using for upholstery. Uh, got it a couple of years ago, didn't pay very much. It's an old industrial machine, probably coming out of a factory somewhere. The mid 50s model doesn't have very many options, doesn't even have reverse. Uh, but it looks like it would uh, sew you a driveway if you needed it to. Light here. Uh, I have another machine here for lighter work, a little newer. Just garage sale stuff, 10 20 bucks. I think it'd be 20 bucks for this because the bobbin tension needed to be tightened up and it wouldn't sew properly so that took five minutes to fix perfectly good machine uh, one of the agents is running circle track uh, uh, bikes this year so we're uh, gonna whip up a suitable seat for that and I thought it'd be just a fun quick video do a little uh, uh, motorcycle seat show off the old singer yeah, pretty straightforward job. Again, I am a rank amateur at this. I'm just doing this for a laugh. Let's see if we can make something cool that looks kind of 70s to go on his, uh, I think it's a 71 Honda 350 twin or something to that effect. And uh, he's already done the construction work. Pretty straightforward. Just need to pad that up. And there's another piece that goes here. So I'm just going to do this piece for today. I'll probably put something in there. I don't know. Some kind of pattern. And uh, I've got some black vinyl. Black vinyl, your friend. Uh, anyway, just laying it out. Just rough cutting a big chunk of this out of here so we don't have to work with the whole thing. And then we'll lay something up and, I don't know, we'll just fuck around. Alright, I've got a... Uh, kind of a pattern sketched out. That's the piece that will be on top. A little bit of leftover foam from whatever. Garbage. And this will be the piece that we'll use to reinforce the foam so that it gives it a nice pleat. And that's all gonna kind of go like that somehow. So I'm gonna go outside and just kind of tack all this together with glue. And then We'll start uh, sewing it, we hope. We'll see how that goes. Okay, just uh, sewed a little quilting on there. I think the next step will be trim this, and then we'll uh, get ready to sew the sides to it. Uh, pretty straightforward, I'm not really trying to get too fancy here. A little bit of half inch foam in between. I'm going to cut it here. Pretty easy. Machine obviously does not struggle with this kind of thing. Only I do. Alright, I've got the uh, top piece uh, stitched up and now the idea is to sew the sides to the top and then uh, we'll put a top stitch in which is only there to look nice and adds a little strength but looks nice and then we'll start seeing how we're gonna fit this to the seat let's give it a go couple of stitches in reverse to lock it because this machine has no reverse. This is up, the needle is in, turn it around, and turn it around, we just did, and now we're going to go in the direction we want. If this thing will put itself together. We have a lot of puckering because of the quilting on the top. It's going to make this, I don't know, it's going to make this harder. It's well outside my pay grade, this entire process, really. Like, I don't know. The old 211, hey? What a thing. Um, 
seems to be working okay. Again, all the flaws are mine. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, put the foot down. Trim all this extra bullshit out so it doesn't get in the way. Flip it inside out. Starting to get a bit of a box there. So that's good. Now, to make it look nice, I'm going to sew a stitch along here to give that a little bit of. Um, you know, just to make it look a little nicer, and uh, and strengthen it, and then we'll start fitting it onto the foam, and uh, then we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do the end here because this folds in, and I'm gonna have to probably cut that, so that something like this, you know, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, so we're just gonna fucking make it up. Anyway, that's going. Again, this is not a how-to, really, because I, uh, I am not qualified to show people how to do this. Nevertheless, just sewing machine fun, right? These things are cheap. You can do 99% of a good job by yourself. And, uh, you know, upholstery is expensive. Custom bike seats are expensive, but there's really, there's $5 worth of material here. I think I paid 250 bucks for this sewing machine, so somebody wanted it out of their house. Okay, I'm gonna offset the top stitch from the inside stitch by about an eighth of an inch, just so it looks a little nicer and uh, a little stronger, whatever. So again, start by going backwards and then flip it around and do everything. So let's see how it goes. Okay, well, whatever. Here goes. You may have noticed that I'm not exactly really fast here. You go slow enough, you can make corrections very gradually. You check each stitch and before you go on to the next one, make sure you're in the right place. Modern machines have a uh, stepper motor that uh, will spin at uh, any speed you want but this machine has a big old I don't know it's got a very very large motor on it that would probably power a washing machine or something uh, and the only way to control the speed is by sliding the clutch 
So it means if you're if you sneeze, it'll do a thousand stitches before you even know what happened. So I'm uh, not in any hurry here. So we're just gonna crawl along. Crawling along, just dragging the clutch ever so slightly. Really using it just as an assist. As you get to the end, this gets quite tight and difficult. Where are we at? There, that's what we're trying to achieve, a little top stitch. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's the little top stitch. All right, we'll go back and tidy all that up when we figure out how it goes on. Just, you know, looks a little nicer than just leaving it. Okay, well, there's the cover. Well, let's go put it together and see how it looks. Well, there's the finished seat. Uh, what was the timeline on that? I don't know, probably... Uh, I don't know, probably, what did that take, three hours? Maybe three or four hours to do that? Because I am not a professional. It looks quite nice and uh, should be just fine for a uh, circle track racer. Francie. Keep an eye on her, okay, Stell? Thank you. Ah, same old shit. <laughs>